What's going on guys? This is Tyler from Division One Trading and we're gonna be covering the silver bullet. So just gonna be covering a quick one here during New York. You can see the London one formed there, fair value gap traded into it. But I wanted to talk about this one here during New York. So you can see the silver bullet range. It is right now, I have it between 850 and 910, essentially just marking up that macro there. Now once we see that, obviously we look for that fair value gap. You can see it was right here. If you don't know how to look for a fair value gap, check out my fair value gap video. I just made one on exactly how to find them. But you want to be looking for the fair value gap within this range. Now once you find that gap, you want to be looking for the order block, the one that occurred right after the fair value gap. It makes this order block here high probability. So it trades away and then you measure that with a fib and you wait for the retracement. So once it pulls back, you can see it pulls back into that 75. So it's at least a 62% retracement, which is good for an optimal trade entry. We can go long. Remember, go long inside of the fair value gap and order block confluence. You just need that uh, fair value gap, but the order block is going to help it out so much more. I generally put my stop at the low of the order block, really the low of that uh, entire silver bullet session. And I generally look for either the previous high that was made, but I try to see how it's at 2.8 to one. I at least try to stretch it to three to one. Generally, it'll, it'll usually run that. And then on us 30, sometimes when it runs, we look for, I'm trying to grab the uh, price range tool. It'll grab generally 50 to a hundred points. So right there, even if you just wanted to run, run it at 50, You'd be at a almost a four and a half to one, and then if you ran it at a hundred points from that high, then you're almost getting into a six to one, which would have played out, would have been a pretty nice play. But that is the silver bullet. Just to cover one right here, we'll cover this one. You can see that we really that's the first fair value gap that's made, and you can see the order block there. But we have another one here. This one's a bit more clear. Right there, we had that fair value gap. We have this order block here. Now the stop loss placement on this one is going to be up to you. I would still recommend using the range. So it's right, it trades back up and it's important that you go short right here. If it doesn't get right there, you shouldn't go short, but your stop loss placement can either go at the high of the range, which is going to keep it the safest. It's going to be harder to get to three to one, or it can go to the top of the order block here, which, is going to be a tighter stop, but it's very, very tight. It's going to be a lot easier to get that three to one. See, your three to one could have been here, but it's difficult with that stop. So I'd rather it there and even be comfortable with just like a two to one. But you could see three to one, it fell just a hair short, maybe a couple pips. But just wanted to run through this quick silver bullet model. Message me if you have any questions. Y'all have a great day. Peace.